In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to import movie files directly into Unreal and then create giant hologram screens with them. If you like the video, please, please, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Your support will really, really help me to continue making more content just like this. Cheers. If you navigate to uh, the proper Unreal Projects folder, so go to your Unreal Projects folder wherever you installed and copied the project files, uh, there's this thing called hologram materials v1 open that up and Inside of here go into the content folder and there should be a folder named movies If there isn't a folder named movies just create it just like this name it movies open that and I've just kind of found this random ad on uh, on YouTube and You know, it's it's copyright obviously so I got to be a little bit careful with that, but you just want to copy your files directly in this movies folder. I don't know why, but for some reason you can't just import it directly into Unreal. You have to uh, copy it into that folder specifically. And then inside of Unreal, there's kind of this example movies folder that I've created. I think you could create the, the movie files anywhere you wanted, but you know, for here, I kind of put them in there and let's create a new folder. Let's just say like, test add open that and i'm going to want to go and right click go uh media create a new media player and i want to check this video output media texture asset click ok and let's just call it like test add underscore media player underscore 018. one yeah, yes as, as soon as i do that it, it creates this kind of extra file you can go into the, the media player and, and choose which file that you'd like to, to play kind of thing, right? So, but, you know, we haven't actually imported our file. We've just created a media player. So here I'm going to right click again and I'm going to go media, uh, file media source. So click that, you know, name it once again, test add underscore uh, source underscore 018. So if I open the source file, then I can go and navigate to that movies folder that I just told you guys about. So just go in there and just grab, grab your, your new video file. And I actually find it's good to select this pre-cache file, which, you know, I'm not going to get into uh, the specifics, not that I even know half of them, but this basically just loads all of the video into memory so that um, it's not kind of streaming it as you play it. And, uh, you know, I, I think overall that's kind of better for performance. At least that's what I've been told online. Maybe I'm wrong. We have our file, click save, and let's open our media player. And I'm just gonna go test add source. Select that. I like to buy the world a home. Yes, we have our video file and now we're ready to create a blueprint for it. So, yeah, I'm just going to create a new blueprint inside of this folder here. But I, I think like uh, the best way of doing it is, you know, you could go to hologram blueprints and then right click create a, a child blueprint class from here. Uh, but do you know what, like I already kind of have a video. So I'm actually just going to duplicate uh, one of the ones that I, I already have. So I'm just going to copy that and then I'm going to go back to my, my uh, test ad folder. And you know, you don't necessarily have to copy it into the test ad folder. My other one, I, I put it in like example holograms, but you know, for the demo, I'm just going to put it here. It's kind of easier. So let's rename it, let's say like BP underscore test ad underscore, whoops underscore 018, you know, and then I'm going to open that. And, you know, before you kind of go crazy with it, uh, the first thing that you need to do is actually create a new material for it. Like I, whenever I create new blueprints and stuff like that, like a lot of the time I, you know, you could kind of start from scratch and, you know, go to, uh, you know, the master instances and, you know, choose which hologram you want to have as your kind of parent master instance. But, uh, you know, I, I don't think we really need to do that for this. Uh, we can actually just duplicate ones that already exist and just copy them over, right? So I'm just going to grab uh, both of these. I'm going to grab 
hologram 01 video concept ad, copy these, and I'm just gonna go back to my folder and paste those. And then I'm just gonna rename them. Yeah, for the localized point fade, I, I usually always just put LPF after it. And you know, in here, I'm just gonna open that up. And first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna make sure that, uh, you know, it's, it's parented to the right master material. Yeah, so like for the video, you know, kind of have this like extra, you have your video file and then in the material, you kind of have this extra opacity mask, which, you know, you can find it here. It's in the light patterns, a one in example textures, you could create your own, just swap that, uh, do basically whatever you want with it. Right. But in here, what I actually want to do is scroll down and I want to find, uh, my video file and plug that in there. So, if I go back to test add and then wait, is it source? Yeah, it's video. Yeah, so if I just plop that in there, you can see it kind of updates with the new video. And now that I've kind of have my, my material is already set up. Now uh, we could actually edit the, the localized point fade material right here. So you can scroll down, uh, basically do the exact same thing. Just swap the texture in there. And it, yeah, it's a bit complicated for, for the video specifically, you kind of have to create your own kind of light beam material. If, if it's playing video, then, you know, the, the colors inside of the, the light beam will actually match the colors of the video. Right. So yeah, just swap that. And yeah, I think like everything else is like straight up default settings. You don't have to override anything. Uh, and so we have our two materials and I'm going to go back to my blueprint and I'm just going to swap those materials. So the top one video material you can change that to our test ad material and then our light beam material you can swap that. And then here media player, you can add your new media player file that you just added and your video file, which is your source, right? So your source is referencing the video file, creating this texture, which the texture is referenced inside of the materials. It's kind of complicated, but you know, once you get used to it, you'll, you'll kind of get it right. And you know, you have a few settings in here. You could turn on audio, turn off audio, change the volume, etc. Right. And you know, like basically, uh, almost all of the other settings, uh, in this hologram mesh, section in the blueprint, I would just leave those completely default, you know, don't even touch them unless, you know, if you wanted to change the scale of the mesh or something, you know, you had a little screen instead of having a big one like this, right? Uh, you know, if, if you wanted to tint the color of the video, you could do that. There's a whole bunch of settings in here. You could add light beam on it. I find adding the light beam on a screen like this is just kind of overkill. So I, you know, I left it off by default in the, in the video blueprint. You know, if, if you want to kind of figure out kind of what all of these different settings do inside of the blueprint, uh, I would refer to my other tutorial, uh, which talks about the holograms and importing skeletal meshes and kind of creating your, your own blueprints in there. This kind of, uh, you know, this is more just related to video file blueprint stuff. So yeah, if you wanted to learn more, just go check that out. So now that we have our kind of blueprint, I'm just going to hit compile and drag this out and grab my blueprint. And I'm going to see if I can just swap one. Actually, do you know what? I'll just drag it in from scratch. And I'm going to drag it all the way over here just because, you know, if you have all the sound over here, and it's going to be very distracting. So I'm going to kind of keep it out of that space. And I'm just going to go to play and make sure this is on simulate and click play. I'd like to buy the world a home and furnish it with love. Grow okay. So that's cool. So one thing you're kind of noticing right now is, uh, yeah, the, the blueprints, um, some of the video files, depending on kind of where they stopped playing, you know, they might be a little bit invisible. So, 
I, I know that kind of sucks, but you know, you might have to use the outliner to find it. Just search for your file name and uh, you should be good. You know, sometimes it'll, it'll come in, the video file will be kind of a few seconds into the video and it'll kind of just work and you'll be able to see it. So it, it won't be an issue. Yeah, let's grab that test ad. Okay. And you know, just like the other holograms, you can grab the gizmo, you can kind of move it around. Not that that matters if uh, the light beams are turned off. So like if I grab my hologram here, I can turn my light beam on. And uh, here I'm just going to click play so you guys can see what's going I like on. To buy the world a home. Oh, whoops. Yeah, so I'm just going to click play so you guys can see what's going on now. I'd like to buy the world a home and... F okay, so... Yeah, we, we have our video hologram in the world, right? There's one more thing you can do uh, that's really, really helpful is, you know, depending on, you know, how bright or dark your video file is when you import it, uh, inside of your material for your video, uh, if you just scroll down, there's a few settings to be able to kind of tweak the contrast or add brightness to your video. Just because it's additive, so some of the brights might be really bright or, you know, the darks might be really dark. So if it's really dark, you can add brightness to it. If it doesn't have enough contrast, you can add a bit in there. It's super, super useful for, you know, just grabbing videos from a project you're working on, just bringing, bringing it in and kind of tweaking it on the fly in the material instance. So... I'm just going to interrupt uh, my own tutorial just to kind of talk about uh, some of the caveats that happen with the video files. So like, it, you know, like I know it's it's all amazing that like, you know, you can import videos into Unreal and, and do a bunch of stuff with them. But like you kind of have to be careful about how big your video files are, right? Like you wouldn't want to import like an entire movie in here. Like I, I'd probably try to keep it under like 40 megabytes if you can, like keep it under a minute long. Like think that you're uploading a video to Instagram, right? Like it's gotta be a minute long, it's quick, it's short to the point, it, it does this, it does that, right? Yeah, do you know what? Like sometimes when I was making this, I actually kind of found out that sometimes the video files just like won't play. Yeah, like sometimes you'll load it up and it, it just, it won't play. You know, it's just kind of frozen at, the spot that it is, right? So one kind of way that I found out that you can kind of combat that and, and make it work is in the in your level, just go into the blueprints thing here and go open level blueprint. And if if you take a look at like kind of what I've done with the hologram gym is I basically just like opened uh, the the level blueprint and basically just created this event begin play. So like if you wanted to do that, you could you know, just right click and say event, begin, play. Click it, you know, it'll create this node right here. And then uh, you're going to want to create a variable for your media player. So like it's super easy. You just go over to the variables thing right here, click it. And then say like, I don't know, media player underscore demo ad, you know, whatever the, the name of your ad is. And then over here in variable type, you just click it and type media player and say like, uh, media player object reference. And then like, as soon as you add that, just hit the compile. And then as soon as you do that, this, this thing pops up right here. And what you're going to want to do is, is go and find your video file in the content browser. So if I go like here, if, if I've added, uh, you know, a new video in here, I can just find your video player and then like open this, toss it in there. And then here, I'm just going to maximize that. So you could drag that into, into your event graph and then just grab the right circle right here, drag out and then let go of the mouse and this whole kind of interface will pop up. So just type play and then go and find play. And then just make sure that you connect this, right? 
So like this is just a demo, right? So like I, I'm basically playing the same ad twice through through the the level blueprint, right? But like if you were to add a new hologram, that's that's exactly what you would do. You would just create a new variable, input your media player in here, drag that variable into the world, type say get, drag out from the right click, type play, click play, creates a media play event, attach it, click compile, and then go and play your, your hologram and it should work. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you liked the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and hit that notification bell. Cheers.